Clinton connection to Russia witch hunt just got $25 million bigger by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Can the deep state war against President Trump get any more absurd? Now we're learning that the Australian foreign, uh, former foreign minister, uh, who is the guy who many say prompted the FBI's witch hunt, helped to raise a whopping $25 million for the Clinton Foundation. Alexander Downer met with the uh, FBI officials in a, quote, secret meeting just hours after the FBI started to look into so-called meddling. Downer broke with protocol with the blessing of the Australian government by tossing President Trump under the bus when he told FBI officials that a Trump advisor told him that Russia had dirt on Clinton. Okay, well, who doesn't have dirt on the Clintons? From Breitbart. Before his tip sparked a divisive witch hunt, former Australian Foreign Minister Alexander Downer helped to secure $25 million for the Clinton Foundation. Downer arranged one of the uh, largest foreign donations ever made to the Clinton Foundation in February of 2006. He and former President Bill Clinton signed a memorandum of understanding that purportedly dedicated the substantial funding to a project meant to provide screenings and drug treatments for AIDS uh, patients in Asia. The donation originally intended for the Clinton Foundation was then rerouted through an affiliate, the Clinton Health Access Initiative, CHAI. The project was lauded for its help in China, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and uh, Vietnam, but auditors criticized its management weaknesses and inadequate budgetary oversight. The Clinton's uh, tentacles go everywhere, so that's why it's important, said Representative Jim Jordan, chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Subcommittee that has taken up arms in defense of the Trump administration over the course of the Russia probe. We continue to get new information every week. It seems that sort of underscores the fact that the FBI hasn't been square with us. Interestingly, the New York Times failed to disclose these details in a May 16th story entitled A Secret Mission, A Code Name, and Anxiety Inside the Early Days of the FBI's Trump Investigation, in which they detailed Downer's involvement in Crossfire Hurricane. The code name for the interview, which led directly to an investigation into ties between Russia and then presidential candidate Donald Trump. They did, however, manage to capture something that Representative Matt Gates of Florida once told the Fox Business Network, it's like the deep state all got together to try to orchestrate a palace coup, he said. That's exactly how it is. You know, how, how much more are we going to find out about these people? I mean, it is just unbelievable. And she's still prancing around. That's what's just, like, beyond me. Why? Because the FBI is in their pocket. They make enough money in order to pay everybody off. Basically, that's, that's the bottom line. That's why she's so arrogant. She has a knack of uh, raking it in. I don't know how she does it, though. How she does it. This witch, I don't know. She's got magic powers of some sort. I just hope her powers uh, are about to end. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.